Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a shell. So a shell is basically um, getting on shape to hollow something out for us. So uh, like if you're drawing a mug or a bowl, uh, all those things would be shelled um, to save us time in trying to extrude, remove all the material that's in the inside, we can get on shape to do it for us. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that um, with just a really simple box and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples um, <clears throat> of different models that I've used the shell tool with. Um, so just quickly I'm going to draw on the top plane, go to sketch, uh, look onto the top and I'm actually just going to draw a centre rectangle and dimension this. So I'm going to do it 60 by 60 so it's within, within our constraint. And I'm going to extrude this again 60 so it's like a cube. And then OK. Um, so the shell uh, a tool is a feature. So just like adding a curve, so like a fillet is a feature, uh, the shell button is a few across from that and um, you can see like a little cross section of basically what it's going to look like, basically what we're doing. So I'm going to click on the shell button and the only thing um, first it needs to know is what is the face to remove. So basically the top part, I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to click on the top and you can see that it's basically hollowed it out. And then I need to set the thickness of the walls basically. Um, so 3mm is a pretty good rule of thumb, like when we're 3D printing. Uh, anything smaller than that, you, it's not as strong and also you won't get as much detail as well. So 3mm is pretty good. Uh, you can make it uh, thicker walls if you wanted to. I'll do it 5mm. Uh, and then just go OK and it'll stay like that. Um, so from here, you know, you could just, you can add detail to the sides. It's, you can pretty much treat it as a normal model. Let's say I want a bit of pattern on the sides. A couple of mil on the outsides. And, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can make like a little lid for it, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so a couple of example models. Um, so for starters, this like hexagon plant holder um, that I made, basically used a shell uh, halfway through um, to basically hollow out this shape. Um, so if I show you what that looks like just, just after the shell. So um, had like a hexagon soccer ball and then just shelled this top little panel so then the whole thing was hollow on the inside and then basically just used a bunch of extrude removes to get rid of the all these little panels and then added a little bit of detail to the bottom um, another example uh, this is Pokeball, and again, it's hollowed on the inside, it's shelled, and it's two parts, um, so it can come apart. So if I just unshow part two, you can see on the inside that it's hollow. And this little lip part basically clips into the top part. So if I turn that on, turn that off, you can see that, again, it's hollow on the inside. Um, so that was just by using a shell. Uh, so shell is quite handy for, again, making something that's going to be hollow or, you know, if you're making like a pencil holder or something that needs um, space inside, shell is the easiest way to do that. 